Hello everyone, this is Sim Ling. Welcome back and hope you're all doing great today. Today I'm sharing a build which is very spooky and sweet. I built this to celebrate Halloween. I know Halloween has already passed and I'm so sorry that I could not upload this video on time. This build just came up on my mind a few days before Halloween and I tried my very best to finish it before Halloween but unfortunate that it didn't went smoothly and that's why it was delayed. So I built a Halloween candy shop for Halloween and it was renovated from a original house at Forgotten Hollow in a 30 times 20 lot. The name of the original lot is Widow Shield Town Home. I chose to renovate it because this build is very rush for me to think the layout and also I think renovating a house is fun and could have a storyline for it maybe. And I didn't change much for the shape of the house, just some minor adjustments and, and I added more decorations and details for the exterior. But I added a slope at the entrance as a pathway to the candy shop. You will see the exterior speed build at the very last part. I have never built any spooky houses before and so I'm not very confident in building spooky themes but I want to try to see what I will come up with and I think it looks pretty cute to me. I don't want to build something very very horror or massive but something cute and spooky instead which suits the Halloween theme and that's why I chose a candy shop as the main idea. So the lot type of this build is a retail and I never tried building in a retail shop before and I play tested it. It's really fun and I think I could build more this type of lot in the future. And just a reminder that if any of you guys wants to play your sims inside this candy shop, you need to teleport them inside this build by using the cheats or mods because the sims are unable to walk up to the slope to get into the shop. So there is also a problem that when the customers arrive this build, they could not walk into the shop and you could not teleport those NPCs into this build. So if you really want to play this build as a retail shop, I think you need to add a stairs outside for the sims to walk up to the shop. And I almost forgot to mention that there is a second floor in this candy shop but it is a resting area where I have a bed, a working place and also a storage room. I didn't tour the second floor but you could have a look in the speed build later. It's just a very simple and normal room for the owner of the shop to take some rest. I will keep this short for today. I hope you guys love this Halloween candy shop. I had a great time building it and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget that there's a house tour after this big build so don't miss it. You can find my other social medias in the descriptions. Just feel free to leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!